my staff brought to my attention a person in this work that against all odds and all prognoses uh, created an outcome that meant the world to her and ha she had a vision after or during her walking meditation. She didn't create, you know, a vision. She had a full-on lucid moment that brought a great sense of knowingness when she saw that that future was a very high probability. And she never gave up on herself and never gave up on that future and created uh, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience for herself. There's a video of me talking to her. I'm going through fertility treatments and I have done three treatments and um, the second and the third resulted in, in um, pregnancy but uh, miscarriage within the first month. So the recommendation of the doctor is that I should um, get donor eggs and since I'm using do donor sperms. But when I got the pre-registration email, then I thought, my, the age, my age is 44, the age of my eggs is 40. Then I thought, well, couldn't I just come here and have the age of my ex to go back so to 25? Because I feel like I, I don't want to use donor eggs. I, want, I feel that I'm getting pregnant, and they, they told me that I would even get pregnant. So my question to you is... The vase, those vase, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I feel, because she told me, I don't want to break your spirit if we keep trying. But I feel it in my womb. I feel it that those souls are up there for me, waiting for me. So my question to you is, in, my, in the meditations, what I've been doing is I've been focusing on the first three centers, and I've been focusing on the worthiness, because I think the guilt of waiting too long is what's holding me back. Mm -hmm. and, the and, guilt, the religion. And, the, and the guilt is stored right in the same yeah. center as your uterus. I feel that. Huh? So listen, first of all, you're beautiful. And you have done nothing wrong. <clears throat> and don't let anybody tell you how your future is going to go. Are you listening to me? I am. Now, when we do the coherence healing this week, I want you on the ground. <laughs> because we're going to help you. Okay? <laughs> you change the field, you change matter. And if there are little beings hanging out in your field and they're trying to find a way in, then let's make them in. Let's get them in there. Okay? And you just need a little help, a little nudge. Now, guilt is an intoxicating emotion because it really keeps us feeling so bad that sooner or later people start giving us attention because of how bad we feel and it becomes a trap. So now listen to me. Your eggs can be 44 or 40 or 35 doesn't matter. Don't get hooked on that. What you want is happy eggs. Yes? yes. That's all you want is happy eggs. Yes. You don't want guilty eggs. No. Guilty <laughs> eggs don't really bear really happy kids. Yes. Don't you know spirit is waiting for you to have happy eggs yes. before you have a kid? Yes. Do you understand what I mean? I do. Okay. So there's not a nest yet for that being that wants to come in. And of course, the the discharge of the egg and the sperm uh, from the uterus is because it's not time yet and it, it won't come in, it doesn't want to come in with that genetic expression. Yeah. Do you understand? understand? Okay. So, when we do that breath, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. How bad do you want a baby? Are you passionate about it, babe? All right, so. I feel. All right, now listen to me. I get it. I feel the baby. You want a baby. How bad? Bad. Okay. Now listen. 
Can you bring up that feeling when we do the breath? Yes. Now I want you to lock down that second center yeah. and that first center. And when it comes time to breathe, I want you to pull all that guilt out of that second center and bring it up into your brain. And I don't want you to quit until that energy strikes your brain. Do you hear me? I hear you. When you bless that energy center, when we move into that second center, I want you to take out a piece of paper and draw a uterus with a big smiley face on it. <laughs> and two smiley eggs. Are you listening? Yes. And I want you to tune in to that energy called the happy uterus. Tune in and heal that baby, huh? And heal it and create the nest or create a nest with a little bird in it with a smiley face. The nest has to be ready for the egg. And it's not coming in until guilt is gone because it doesn't want to live in guilt. It wants to live in joy and it will live in joy with you because by gosh, you're going to be a great mama. You understand what I'm saying? Hi, everybody. I, I am super happy to be here today um, to share with you the next day after that, that beautiful talk with Dr. Joe, I did a walk-in meditation. On my way back, I was feeling so much joy, so much joy. But as I was walking back, there was a gentleman who was standing right next to me who was just crying, but maybe in his 70, very tall. But that cry that you know that they just had a breakthrough and they just have a lot of love. And I remember saying, I want more of that. And as I pass him through, his energy hit me in my back. I moved forward. I had to t t go away from the sidewalk and go into the dirt, and I started crying like he was crying. And then as a download, and I don't know, it was a second, but it's going to take me a little bit longer to tell you, but I understood in that moment that my babies that I had lost up to that point, I hadn't lost them. They knew they were going to live four weeks and the other one five weeks, and they still chose me. They chose me because they wanted me to to love me and they wanted me to love them and to reaffirm that I was meant to be a mother. And from that point, I didn't have to feel guilt. Then the next instant that I saw was toddlers playing on the ground, a boy and a girl. I was in the kitchen and I was married, which I'm not. And I was in this house that I don't have yet. And with this gas stove that I don't even have, I have an electric and the kids were just playing. And, but I, I, will ha I will manifest that. And I, then in that moment I thought, okay, that means that I had a pregnancy, I have two babies, and they're waiting for me. I did many treatments after that. I, my last miscarriage was October 2020. And at that point I thought, but I did many uh, more week, week longs and I did an advanced follow up. So I knew, then my next treatment, I needed to recall back because with every time that I did it, even though I still saw my mind moving meditation and with every event that I attended, any breakthrough that I got, I would add it to my mind movie. And because I knew that it was, if I was getting downloads, it meant that I needed to heal the next part of myself. One of them was that I couldn't ha give birth in, in my first center when I was still afraid of abuse. So I had to heal that. And I was told that with my generation, it was gonna stop, no more abuse. So my children were gonna come into a safe environment. So that was important, no wonder they couldn't be born. And so finally I did Orlando. And I decided before I came, but I don't know, maybe a few weeks before Orlando happened, um, that your team put the video. And people were asking, so Dr. Joe, people wanna know, does she have a baby? And for a moment, I was like, oh, it hasn't happened for me. But then I will remember, no, I saw those toddlers, and I saw two. That means that I will have those babies. So I decided to come to Orlando as a mom. I came, I was radiant, I was brilliant, I was just like, I was in love with myself. So I have two beautiful boys. They're, this is Colin. And this is Kaden. Colin and Kaden. I don't know if you can see their shirts, but it says genius of the family. They're wearing a special shirt. 
They're genius in training. And I meditated while we, I had them. This is my mom and my friend Edina. They came so I could be here, so they came so I could give testimonial to you guys. I just know that the things that made the difference for me was I got the doctors that believed in who I was and my dream. I didn't work with anybody who didn't believe as big as me. I'm 48. I'm going to be 49 in August. So I wanted to work with people who were believers. The other thing is I stopped telling people who were, who were not going to believe in me because they started in a very loving way. They started telling me, maybe it's time for you to give up. But so I stopped telling people. Only my geniuses I will tell because I knew that they believed. I knew that they believed. And in my delivery, um, I, I had a difficult delivery, and, and I kept waiting for the big um, contractions. But because I was playing the songs from my mind movie, they never came. And so I told my sisters, like, I know you were screaming in your, in your deliveries. How come I wasn't screaming? She's like, Claudia, you, have, you, know, you were, I mean, like, you were in pain. But I said, but I never felt it because I kept playing Mother's Blessing and, like, the two songs that I have in my mind movie meditation. And I kept talking to my babies. I kept talking to my babies and I kept telling them, you are loved. You are wanted. Thank you for coming. If, if, if you are meant to be born, I am ready for you. So the surprise was that I didn't have a boy and a girl. They were both boys. And one thing that I put on my meditation, on my mind movie meditation, was that I would have boy or a girl, two girls, two boys, because I didn't want any souls who were meant to come to me to be to think that they had to be gender specific. I trusted whoever was going to come, if it was one or two, even though I had a vision, that in the perfect timing, whoever was supposed to come to me, they were going to come to me. 48 years old, you know that, what they say about normal and natural. There were haters on the internet, haters telling her that she was this and that, calling her names because they thought she was so unrealistic. Dare to be original? Hmm? She's a light to the world. You can't tell her that possibility doesn't exist can't tell her that now. It, was, it wasn't like she did the event in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and she got fertile or pregnant or in, 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 uh, in a month or two months. It was, a, it was a long journey, and there were some missteps along the way, and things didn't go the right way, and she didn't give up. She never gave up on that vision at all. Never gave up on the vision. And so she's the example of truth, of possibility. She went against convention. And whenever you go against convention, I want you to know that you'll be con considered foolhardy and insane until you pull it off. And then you're the mystic. You're the master. You're the genius. You're the saint. It's time to be original. And she, she is a light to the flock, to the community. And to her, that was very important to her. And it was her change that produced that outcome. She didn't say, i focusing on being pregnant. Why am I not pregnant? That's the old personality talking, separate from the experience. She just decided that there would be no guilt in her life anymore and there would be no more limited emotions that have to do with guilt or pain or suffering or insecurity, all that second center stuff when it's out of balance. She took care of that nest. She did it with a level of love, a level of intensity that matched her vision, her passion. And no one's going to talk her out of that future and she earns the right to have that experience and fully enjoy it because she created it and she knows that she created it and she wanted to raise her kids where there was no, no, no past left in her to repeat that and break the chain, break that chain once and for all. 
I don't know. That's a, that's a pretty, pretty worthy soul to raise children in, in the great state of love. 